Hello Taurus, and welcome to Bonsaji Tarot. My name is Robin, and today Taurus, we're going to find out about the person on your mind. So the person you're thinking about, let's see what they're thinking about you. Let's get a little nosy, shall we? So spirit guides, talk to us. Passion, allow your heart to sing with joy. All right, person on Taurus's mind, how are they feeling about Taurus? What are they thinking, feeling, what do they intend on doing? Talk to us about this person. And Taurus, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. So let's talk about this person. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Very interesting and conflicting information or energy. Informa well, yeah, it is kind of information. So they're a little cautious, but they're trying to be open-minded. So let's see what this is all about here, Taurus. Talk to us. Person on Taurus's minds. What are they feeling about Taurus right now? How do they feel about Taurus? So we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. Wow, that's a very conflicting energy here. And their actions in the near future. The World in reverse. The Three of Pentacles. Let's get one more, please. <laughs> and Strength in reverse. Ooh, ooh, Taurus. And on the bottom of the deck, the King of Wands in reverse. So why is this red flag cautioning them? There's something that you said. Okay, so let's talk here, Taurus. This person is not sure if they want to work on this. There's something you said that they didn't sit right with them. We're going to find out what it is because they see so much potential. You make them feel good about themselves. I feel like they enjoy your energy. I'm hearing your aura. Like they like your energy. They like the vibe you give. You make them happy and feel content. And they're very attracted to you. This person, like look at this King of Wands looking over. He can't stop looking at you. Like this, this person cannot take their eyes off you. <laughs> they're very physically attracted. But what was said, page of wands in reverse for me is something being said that they didn't like or that hurt, maybe hurt their feelings. Uh, let's see what this is. What is this page of wands in reverse? What is this? Uh, what happened here? King of swords in reverse. Temperance. And the queen of cups. Yeah, you hurt their feelings. I don't know. Uh, temperance. You might be dealing with the Sagittarius or someone who has a lot of Sagittarius in their chart, but... Um, or you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But you said something, Taurus, that hurt their feelings a little bit. Yeah, so kind of um, you bruised their ego. They're being a little stubborn here. They want, they don't, hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. So you said something. You might have known that you said it. There's a page of wands in reverse again. So something that you said hurt their person's feelings, whether you intended to or not intended to. I'm just the messenger. Um, they got, their feelings got hurt a little bit, got bruised a little bit. Um, and that's... That might be why you feel them pulling back, and that's where the conflicting energy here. That's what a justice. But they want what's just and fair. They didn't tell you this. They just pulled back. They just pulled their energy back. So don't really keep that in mind. Like if they if you did or said something that they didn't like, and um, they should have communicated it to you, and they didn't. They didn't tell you. Um, let's see. Well, let's see what they're gonna do. So they didn't tell you how they felt. But the hierophant. <laughs> justice but they want this with you so they're trying not to let this um get in the way but it's caused some doubts in their mind um but taurus in the near future we have the world in reverse we have the three of pentacles and we have the strength in reverse so they're a little nervous to approach you i feel like they're approaching with caution um they're they're anxious about this. They don't want this to go the wrong way. I'm not, let me see what that's, I'm getting a weird feeling with that. But they want to work on this. And why are they being cautious towards Taurus here? Maybe they said something that hurt your feelings and they know that. Maybe take that how it is. Maybe it's the other way around. What is this uh, strength in reverse? Clarify the strength in reverse, please. Taurus this person. There's the Hierophant. They don't want to mess this up. So if they said something, yeah, they're thinking a lot about it. I do feel like you, I do feel like it was you that said something. I don't think it was purposeful. It might've just been an opinion, like, you know, it could have been something like it could have been an opinion about politics or something. I don't know. With Hierophant here, it could have been, you know, your core beliefs on a religion or, or, or something along those lines. Um, they're, they're caught in their head about it. So that's why this person's pulled back or that might be why you're feeling that. Um, but believe me, they cannot stop thinking about you. They can't take their eyes off you. They're coming to get you. They want to work on this. Um, they're going to get over it, but right now they're just kind of dwelling on it. <laughs> oh, I cut on the Hierophant. They're going to make the choice. They're not, um, like right now they're in that energy, but, um, 
I do see them getting over whatever that was. The words, I mean, it's just, I don't know. Let's get a few oracle messages and we'll see where they are. Actually, I want to see if you want to say anything else about that. I do feel like it had to do with... I don't say anything else about that. Temperance. Just have patience. See it of Pentacles. They're coming. They're just a little mad right now. <laughs> Just being drawn to her face. They're just a little mad. They're, they're got, their feelings got hurt a little bit here, Taurus. Um, but it's saying to just have patience because they are going to work through that and they're going to come and talk to you and communicate. The Three of Pentacles is about communication teamwork. So they're going to tell you, but they haven't told you up to this point. Um, so let's get a few Oracle messages and we'll see where you guys are in a month from now. So expect to get some truth from this person. Um, I don't feel like they've been fully honest with you up to this point. So what does Taurus need to surrender to in order to get the outcome they want with the person on their mind? Surrender frustration. So frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Um... And the caring connection. What do you want to say about Taurus and this person? What is the caring connection between them? The person on their mind. What message do you want to pass along? Tested. Ooh, yeah, okay. Your strengths and your weaknesses are being tested. And let's get the hidden truth. What is this person not saying? <laughs> I think there's a little bit that they're not saying to you, Taurus. Could be dealing with the Pisces. A little mysterious, a little mysterious. But I don't see a lot of water here, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> um, talk to us. What's the hidden truth? left when I saw you with someone and I love you so they might have been out and about and seen you um, with another person and jumped to conclusions or made assumptions or maybe they had right to jump to conclusion and make assumptions but either way let's see where you are in a month from now with this person so let's get your potential outcome so I say potential because there's always free will you're going to do what you're going to do and I say outcome but it's a month are you going to work on it with this person are you guys able to work this out do they tell you? Are they open? Are they honest? Talk to us. How are things between Taurus and this person in a month from now? How does this conversation go? Okay, so we have Nine of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse. One more because I like five. Death and rebirth and rebirth. And on the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus. This is interesting. Everything is upside down except for the overall. So I feel like both of you <laughs> are kind of stubborn, kind of resisting this. Neither one of you are opening up, but you're both wanting to drop your guard. So you guys both want to drop your guard, but neither one of you are fully doing it. I feel like we're going to clarify that to find out what that sneakiness is because you both have regrets. I feel like you're both um, being stubborn, though, and you both want to work on this, but you're both tired. I feel like and it's weird that I'm getting that. this is both of you feeling. So I feel like you're mirroring each other. Um, what do you want to say about the seven of swords? What is this in reverse here anchoring this in a month? Page of swords in reverse. The nine of wands. The Knight of Swords in reverse. And the Magician. There's a block in communication here. You think that they're sneaky and you don't trust them, Taurus. So when they come back, you just don't, you don't trust them. Just something within you is burning. You just got something burning. It's a block in, big block in communication in a month from now. So you're cutting this person out. They're still around, but you're holding back. You're just tired. I feel like I get this energy like... You're just exhausted. They're not opening up. They're not being honest. This is like going in the cycle and you're just like, you know what? I'm just sick of the the lack of openness. This person isn't emotionally available. They're not emotionally opening up. There's a big block in their emotions. And I feel like you're, you're, you're just, um, you're not, you're exhausted in a month from now with this person, but they're still here. So you're still dealing with them and you're just exhausted. I feel like you're, you're ready to give up in a month. Do you want to say anything else about, yeah, you're looking, you're looking at a new beginning in a month, death and rebirth in reverse. You're stuck on this person, but you're in a, honestly, Taurus in a month, you're frustrated. You're ready to some, you're ready for something new. You're, they just, they're not opening up. So there's passion here. There's connection here, but there is a disconnect in emotions and there's a disconnect in the communication. Um, and it has something to do with this. This caused them to hold back. It's caused you to hold back. And in a month from now, you both are holding back and looking in different areas. 
So Taurus, that's what I have for you. Um, that's the reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it, it's what you want to hear. I'm sorry if it's not the happiest ending, but um, you're both holding back and looking. You're both, but they're still here. See the, the walk thing? <laughs> so you guys are just really confused in a month from now, um, trying to figure out what you want, to be honest. But I don't think you trust them, Taurus. And ultimately, if there's no trust, is there really going to be any kind of relationship? So that's what I have. Let's get your final message. I hope it resonates if you like my style. Don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel grow. It helps others to get the message. I always appreciate that. So your final message, Taurus, is the perfect man of old looked after himself first before helping others. Take some time to be outside this evening. Breathe in the fresh air and breathe out the stresses of the day. Watch the sunset or reflect on the vastness of the universe as you stargaze. Enjoy Mother Nature and all she has to offer. So Taurus, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.